All right, man. Torch to talk. Twelve o'clock show. Twelve o'clock show. You know what it is, man. Twelve o'clock show. All right, man. Look, man. So I found another video where top five this time is actually incriminating himself by saying certain things, and this is crazy. Yeah, I thought the first one on eight a.m. show was crazy, but this one here takes the cake. You know what I'm saying? And again, he's talking to no other than academics so we're gonna watch this video and come back and discuss before i get into that this is torture talk if you like the content please consider subscribing if you're new here let me work for your subscriptions today all my beautiful sexy single ladies put one in the chat all the fellas y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them i don't sell no merch but i do have content and that's absolutely free but if you want to leave a donation Links on the screen, Cash App, Q Card is in the description. Let me know where you from. You know, good, sh you know what I mean? I went from, they call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost 11,000. I should be at 11,000 by tomorrow morning. So look, man. Yeah, this is very disturbing. And I think some of these people, man, um, yeah. They, 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 they just, I don't know. So let's, let's go. All right. So let's get it. He was on Drake. <laughs> he, he was on, um, academics live stream saying that he's Drake shooter. Right. Allegedly. But this is according to his own words. What's going on? What's his, what's his label called? D uh, I don't know. But all day he wants to see smelly. Smelly's my bro. All right. So wait, let me explain. Smelly smells like shit. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, what, what are you, t but buddy, buddy, I can have this. We love you out here. Let me tell you, let me tell you about something. But you, you, you're always gassing up the horse. The horse? No, come on. I don't got no, yo, yo top five. What's going on, brother? What's horse? <laughs> brother, brother, why do you think I'm out here? Brother, if you, look. You got to put, hold on. You got to put me in the, with the real, what the real Toronto is, bro. Yo, because okay, 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 I'm looking online and all of a sudden I see Chromita. She got a song. She dissing Meg. She moving around. She looking yeah, around. she's blessed. Let me tell you something. Yeah. She's good, but Megan doesn't even fucking know her. Oh. You think Megan Thee Stallion knows Chromita? Megan Thee Stallion doesn't even fucking know me. I'm just being real. I'm just being fucking real. Meg might want to call Messi. Meg wants to fuck me. <laughs> oh, shit. So wait, hold on. I like Megan Thee Stallion. All right, so, so you say I'm looking at the wrong artist in Toronto now. You, you want to know who to look in Toronto? Talk to me, brother. Flipper. Flipper. But just, that was my big dog. They just arrested him for two bodies. What? But they, they, they freed up his little bros. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> at a certain point, just shut the fuck up. This shit is embarrassing, up. man. This shit is embarrassing. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This shit is embarrassing. All the stereotypes that we get as black people, this is the reason why we get these stereotypes. This shit is embarrassing. These people don't care. His little brother is part of GGG. He's just beer body. Wait, wait, what's GGG? Go get him, gang. Go get him, gang. All right. So, so y'all are the top. Shut. I'm telling y'all now, man. Academics is he is extremely good at gaslighting. He is a master manipulator. Listen to what he said. And this nigga, this dumb nigga, fell for everything. He's falling for it all. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to this. No, they just arrested him for two bodies. What? But they, they, they freed up his little bros. His little bros is part of GGG. He's just beer body. Wait, wait, what's GGG? Go get him, gang. Go get him, gang. All right. So, so y'all are the top shatters when it comes to Toronto. Let me, let, me, let me tell you what happened in Toronto. Books, you know books, right? Yeah. He got a leg us. Oh, shit. Cry, oh. Cry. <laughs> Whoa. No, whoa. There's a next rapper named Snoopy. You can go on YouTube. I took his chain. You them all. You took his chain? And I told him I'm going to take it in 14 days. This is why we get these stereotypes. These niggas like this is the reason why our skin color can't advance. Because we allow niggas like this to exist. And I'm not saying they have to go away, delete it. 
exist in our culture, in our space. We allow stuff like this to happen. This should not be allowed at all. This type of behavior is the reason why we have not advanced as a people. I'm just keeping it a hundred. This type of behavior. Listen to everything he's saying. Taking people's chains. He's saying that somebody got offed. Listen to this. He's literally admitting all of this right in the open. Just there, here, yeah, we did it. GGG, the go get them gang. So y'all the top shotters. You know such and such? Yeah. This is this is what we're dealing with. Listen to this. Oh sh oh, 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 No, whoa! There's a next rapper named Snoopy. You can go on YouTube, I took his chain. You them all. You take his chain? And I told him I'm gonna take it in 14 days on live. And I got it on the ninth day. Oh man, on the ninth day of Christmas, Jesus. There's an artist named what's, what's what other artist that got shot? Yo, you terrorizing the city! I'm a fucking demon. Talking about I hang with demons. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> At a certain point, just shut the fuck up. Again, this is why the stereotypes of black men exist because of niggas like this. I'm a fucking demon. I'm a fucking demon. I wear that as a badge of honor. I'm a demon. I terrorize my city. I don't bring anything of anything for the culture. I'm just telling you, I'm a demon. And no matter what happens, I'm a demon. This is what we're dealing with. This is what we're up against. Do not hit me with the bullshit about white people are always racist. White people don't respect black people. We allow this type of behavior in our culture. This should not be cool. None of this should be allowed. I'm a demon. You should be a demon on your time. That's it. But why are we allowing this type of behavior? This is all I'm saying. We keep on talking about white people it is. Oh, white people always holding us back. Oh, they always saying they're racist. Bro, we allow this to happen in our culture and we don't do nothing about it. Nothing. We just allow it. On the night there, Christmas, Jesus. <laughs> There's an artist named, what's, what's the artist that got shot? Yo, you terrorizing the city. I'm a fucking demon. Yeah. Talking about, yeah. I hang with demons. Yeah. Flippo just got caught with two bodies. Yeah. He's going to beat it in the same. My homie just beat a body, century, GGG. Y'all got some good lawyers. We all just beat bodies. Oh, like, yeah. You don't have evidence on us, you know what I mean? You know. This is disturbing. This is disturbing. He just beat a body. My homie just beat a body. He's going to be two bodies. They have no evidence on us. But you did it, though. So you're claiming that you did it. You're dry snitching on yourself. So basically you're saying that your man beat two bodies. They have no evidence that y'all did it, but you did it. That's what you're saying. You ain't got no evidence on us that we killed two people. We deleted two people. They ain't got no evidence on us. But we did it, though. We know how to cover our crimes up real good. Nobody going to say anything. We know how to cover it up. That's what we do. We good at that. No witnesses, right? No, of course. Yo, uh, okay, 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 okay. I, I I was informed the police is watching this. So, I don't know what the fuck happened to those guys. Oh, they yeah. got really interested. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to go viral, so just watch what you say. I don't want to Vlad. I don't want to up like Vlad. Drake, I love Vlad. Drake, that's Big Dog. Oh, Drake, Big Dog. Big Dog. 
That's big dog. <laughs> See, if, if somebody that doesn't like Drake comes to the city, we're taking care of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so we're picking up. Drake has shouted you out before. That's how some people knew you. That's big bro. So he saw every night text message. He saw you moving in the city and he saw you working and he gave you a shout out. No, just that I knew him before the rap shit. Like, I used to see him here and there. You know what I mean? And then now, like, now it's a love right now. It's like, I'm a shooter, basically. Yeah. So you the I'm streets. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you cannot make this shit up, bro. <laughs> you what, nigga? <laughs> you niggas would do anything for clout. Yo, this is crazy. You a what, nigga? You who, nigga? <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, my God, bro. This is crazy. You what, nigga? <laughs> No, just that I knew him before the rap shit. Like, I used to see him here and there. You know what I mean? And then now, like, now it's a love right now. It's like, I'm a shooter, basically. Yeah. So you the I'm streets. <laughs> <laughs> you Drake shooter. <laughs> Drake, your shooters are stupid. Your shooters are dumb, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. This crazy work right here. You literally admitted that you a nigga shooter. <laughs> so if if niggas you, you yo you said this is what you said, bro. <laughs> you said if niggas come to the city, if Drake they got a problem with Drake, we handle that. Then you say you are Drake shooter. <laughs> yo, I swear to you, man. This is the reason why white people think we stupid, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You know what? I ain't gonna say that. I ain't even gonna say that because white people, a lot of white people don't think stupid just the racist ones and this is what i'm saying and a lot of and a lot of and a lot of black people think that you niggas is stupid bro you know what i'm saying it's not just white people this is what i'm saying you talk about when you talk about uh, uh stereotypical things yeah this is this is why they say that this is it right here this is full and full display and academics gaslighting you like a motherfucker so you the top shotta yeah i'm a demon yes it's me the demon time guy. It's like, what are we, what are we proving here, bro? I'm like, man, just beat two bodies. And I got another, yeah, I terrorize the city, bro. I'm a demon. I roll with all demons, bro. We terrorize the city. We terrorize the city. I'm a demon. And y'all allow this. Y'all cool with niggas like this. It's okay. This is all right. Niggas like this, yeah. You don't want to talk about people who are intelligent, smart, and motherfuckers who graduated college and got something going on with themselves and doing something better to better the community and, and move us forward as a people. But these are the type of niggas that get the live, they get the burn. And Drake, who's cool with this nigga, oh, he texts me every night. Oh, that's my man's right there. Really? He got you out here doing dummy missions. You niggas are dumb. You niggas are dumb. And it's so disturbing to see. It's unbelievable how dumb you niggas is. This is unbelievable. We need, I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Niggas like this is the reason why we can't move forward. Because we won't, we won't, we won't get rid of these dudes. We won't exile them, put them out. Like, nah, you got to get out of this house, bro. You can't be around us. We cool with these niggas. We feel sympathetic for them if something happened. Oh, free, free this guy. Free him. Yeah, man. He, the police did him wrong, bro. That wasn't right. These niggas killed 10 niggas and we like free that guy. He needs to be free. Oh, he beat the system, bro. Yeah, man. That's my man's, bro. Unbelievable, man. I don't respect this. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't respect none of this, bro. You niggas is wild, bro. Who the f boy, clout is a hell of a drug. Why would you say something like that on online? Why would you say something like that on the internet? But according to his words, he said that he's Drake Shooter. <laughs> boy, th boy, this internet shit is wild, boy. Before the rap shit, like I used to see him here and there. You know what I mean? And then now, like, now it's a love right now. It's like, I'm a shooter, basically. Yeah. So you the I'm streets. You're the streets. Yeah, I'm Drake Shooter. Oh, shit. I'm not lying to you. Anybody disrespect Drake, I'm shooting you. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Bro.
Oh my God. Yo. This is the type of shit you niggas is cool with. Yo, oh my God, bro. You niggas literally say this online. Y'all that brave that you say if anybody was to disrespect Drake, I'm shooting them. That's what you just said. You just said that out your mouth. What? <laughs> oh man boy 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 so y'all y'all heard him but i ain't gotta say allegedly according to him he's saying that drake shooter all right and this is on what this was three years ago right this is on three years ago right shout out to chicks top five tell dj academics that he's his shooter all right so this was three years ago and apparently he just got released Drake shooter and how convenient he says shout out to champagne poppy for the lawyer free fees so bro. he already showing that's crazy bro so you say if anybody disrespect Drake you a shooter we don't know what happened with the dude who who allegedly you posted had did something to and now you get off because Drake paid for your lawyer fees. Yo, I could never, ever, ever, ever respect Drake. Never. I could never respect that dude. I don't care if he, I don't care if, if he comes out at the Super Bowl with Kendrick. I'm not trying, I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. I'm not trying to hear none of that. That dude should not be in the culture, 100%. I'm not siding with none of that. I'm not listening to none of that. Everybody, the connection. Ain't you supposed to move in silence, bro? I'm not, I'm not understanding these niggas these days, man. It's like y'all bragging and boasting. Y'all supposed to keep this on the tuck. Like, y'all know they watching. Y'all know they recording and filming everything. Like, they don't never learn, but I guess. So top five, all right, is allegedly, according to him, is Drake Shooter. Drake is paying his lawyer fees, so now they're connected. Now everybody knows their connection is like, what the fuck? D, Joe Button, Drake diss mention on Mike Zombie? Okay, I could, I'll, I'll uh, check it out. I'll, I'll, I'll all right, so I'm going to leave it there. I'll tag him in this video. This is his video, so I'll tag him in. Yeah, man. I just don't want to hear the stereotypical things or the things that y'all say that people are racist and they look at us differently and all this. We accept this behavior from these people. We accept this. It should not be accepted 100%. No. We should say hard no, no, no. We cannot keep on allowing people like this to control the narrative about our people because our people is being looked at because the only thing that they see on the news is dudes like this who commit violent acts. And they have this preconceived notion in their head that we're all like that. If you wear a hoodie and you're an educated man and you decide you want to wear a hoodie, guess what? You are a threat because of people like that. I don't want to hear this whole thing where people say, oh, well, they shouldn't judge or judge you how you look. They shouldn't judge you off of that. Yes, they should. Yes, they should. They should have absolutely judge you off of that because they only see what the media promoting to you. And what they're promoting is violence on our own people. News running up with hoodies on and guns and robbing people in broad daylight. So if I have a hoodie on, like the one I have on now, what do you think they're going to think if I'm walking through the hood? If I have braids like this, what do you think they're going to think? It's no different from certain people, and I ain't going to say who, but certain people hiding behind civilians. It's no different. These people look just like us. I'm not a criminal. 
I don't do criminal activity. I like the braids. I like hoodies. But guess what? I can't walk certain places because I might get deleted. And we accept this in our culture. It's like, it's like, it's like we have this thing where there's certain people who do things in their culture, but we have accepted it as a part of our culture. That has to end. People do things in, let's say, uh, 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 white people do things to each other. But it's not a part of their culture. Asians do things. Uh, uh, Spanish people do things. But us, we wear it as a badge of honor. I'm a demon. That's nothing to be proud of. I'm terrorizing my city. Cops ain't got nothing on me. And you're like, yeah, we hate the cops. Cops ain't got nothing on you, bro. They can't do nothing to you, bro. You big bro. I'll take care of your legal fees if you off somebody. I got you. It's just, this is what we're dealing with. And for some reason, we okay with it. Or at least we're not speaking up about it. Everybody should speak up against this. Shouldn't be, oh, it's, it's, it's cool. Or it's all right. No, it should be zero tolerance to stuff like this. But, hey, man, I'm over it. So all I can say, good luck, nigga. Good luck, because you're going to need it. You're going to need it with all that mouth you got, bro. <laughs> good luck. Because, again, people got to understand the pendulum swings both ways. So if you or on the receiving end, this time, you can't blame nobody but yourself. You can't plant all these landmines and then get mad when it blow up in your face when you're trying to run back through the field. That's how it goes. Or you forget where the landmines you planted because that's what happens when you're a demon. You forget all these things and then they end up resurfacing. And things happen. But I'm out of here, man. Six o'clock show coming up. See y'all. Peace. Down. No. And uh, it's against the law. They banned it a year ago, and all of us are going to fucking party hard. You down? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, Nothing about one. what you're saying. It fucking party hard. You down? No. <laughs> nah, let's, Nothing let's about what you're saying is my vibe, even if it was. Cat William, William said it. Burning Man, a band festival in the woods would just, mm. dog, mm -mm. Mm. no. Burning Man looks I like, like Mad Max. That's not a festival. I am going to be. Oh, no? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, you no, I know you wasn't going. I text, I text Keith, yo. This nigga told me to burn him in. Stay in the bed. <laughs> yo, the Spark. bed, yo. The bed. It feels so good. In I gotta, hotel too? I gotta go back over to Fred and get some more sheets too. The bed feels fine. Find a show that you like. There you go. <laughs> Turn the air on so the sheets get cold mm. when you get in. Make it an experience. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you've been doing some shit, being dirty all day, take a shower around Ooh. 9 p.m. Mm. Throw some motherfucking baby powder. Do some shit on you. <laughs> go Uber get your bed. favorite drinks and, and food. The, you the know bed. I mean? Open a window. Sit there. Look at the sky. Drink a glass of wine or something. Do a, I hit a vice. Hey, hit that girl that you like while you're sitting in bed. Yo, yeah. make bed Great again. <laughs> as much as you I'm want not. to, if you work a lot, mm. don't you want that downtime? You don't want to keep partying and all. Yo, the feeling I get when I go to bed at around <laughs> 10, 10, 30, 11, maybe even 11, 30. Bro, that is 100% facts. I'll be working hard. But if I get a chance to go to bed early, like 9 o'clock, I, I know that's unheard of. But one time, I actually was so tired, and I took a shower I said, you know what? I'm going to sit up and watch this show. Man, I, I sat on the bed after I took the shower, laid back. And next thing you know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. It was 9 and it's 4. I woke, I'm like, oh. Still went to Crown Friday, got me some chicken. <laughs> I 
I know y'all like, you eat from ground fried? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they be coming through on the late night. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so old, I say, oh my God, where did the time go? Yo. That's how old I am. <laughs> when it's 11.30, I be like, oh my God, it's getting late. <laughs> the feeling I get going to bed at 11.30 and God opened my eyes at around 4.30. Oh, I got another day. <laughs> and I'm still in bed. Y'all get that some, burning, man. Some niggas can't do that, bro. The burning, man. You Dog. niggas is burning. In the crib. Oh, they man. might be burning a man. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, mm. nigga? Hey. I want to wake up and pick up my phone on 100% off the dresser and look at footage of y'all doing all the shit I would never do. <laughs> that is a great 5 a.m. morning <laughs> to me. Coffee, a cigarette, and you guys' regrets in 8K <laughs> on my phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the bed. That's a good time. The bed. The, the bed. bed. All right, y'all. In the words of Cat Williams, you gotta tell Diddy no. So let me tell y'all about Burning Man. This is the event that Diddy invited Joe to. Now, Burning Man, from what I hear, it's a place where a lot of famous and rich people meet up every year. And some people say it's an orgy where everybody is getting high. Other people say it's a place where people go to get enlightening and everybody's finding their true inner selves. And, you know, they talk about it's this experience that's so eye-opening. Bro, I never heard of this. And I and I, I be hearing a lot of shit, especially conspiracy stuff, but I never heard of this. I'm glad I never heard of this. But I never heard of this. The Burning Man? That's a crazy-ass name. The Burning Man. Again, it's so transformative and crazy. You see a little kid back there on this picture. I think that's a kid. Either that's a short person or a kid in the background in this picture. But this is a few photos from a 2014's Burning Man, all right? I also know there's a part during Burning Man where they build these kind of like statues or like houses and it's a part of like this activity that they all do together. So this is one of the things that was built during the recent Burning Man. This kind of like statue of two people kissing and everybody's helping each other. To me, getting high, building stuff, playing games, drinking, partying. Also recently at a Burning Man, they did this thing where they all like sat in this like crop circle and they said they were what preparing the for exodus that? okay yo that's crazy bro that's all people yo that's nuts is this all people i don't know if that's all people that might be something else maybe it's maybe it's trucks and people and vans and that's crazy. So this is what the, the rich people all around the world are doing at Burning Man, all right? Also, I'm going to assume everybody there is not rich, but it's still, you know, one of those things where it seems like a lot of the elites do this, all right? So they built some kind of crop circle, and they was all sitting in this crop circle. You see how it's like a perfect U Here's a better view of that if y'all wanted to see Yo, it. That's crazy. Because they said this that year where they did this kind of like circle, it was even seen from space so they could see it from space. And that was in 2022. They also say when you leave Burning Man, you could be trying to get out of there for about nine hours because it's so jam-packed, all right? And no, this last photo, this is not a fake picture. This is, you know, some photos taken from Burning Man. So this is the party Diddy wanted to go to, and he wanted to bring Joe Budden, all right? They dress up in costumes. They get high. They have a good time. They build stuff. Sometimes they sleep in tents. I heard sometimes they don't bathe. They don't wash up. And I heard it's a lot of orgies. I heard there's a lot of freaking going on, and, you know, it's like what happens at Burning Man stays at Burning Man. It's people <laughs> taking photos. <laughs> what happens at Burning Man stays at Burning Man. 
what happens to Burning Man stays to Burning Man. <laughs> but just everybody's running around looking crazy. And, you know, it sounds like a Diddy type of party. Now, lucky for Joe, Diddy didn't tell him, you know, if you want this revolt deal, you got to come to this party and dress up all crazy. And we got to we got to find each other spiritually at Burning Man. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that's not what happened. Joe said he turned it down. He was not at Burning Man. I'm sure if he was at Burning Man, it would be some type of photos. It would be like one bald black guy with a cigarette and a crazy ass outfit. We never saw that. I'm willing to take Joe's word. But uh, this is the type of partying that Diddy like to do. Also, by the way, y'all have never heard of anybody in court getting in trouble for something that happened at Burning Man. Think about that. This has been going on for years. Because, you know, it's, 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 it's a good time, all right? Mm. Such a good time as... It's crazy. Man. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. I never even heard of that. And that's this is that goes to show you, man. Even if you are in tune, sometimes you're not in tune. I never heard of a burning man. Never. I think I seen that pyramid thing though. But I never heard of burning man. And I tell you, man, people would do anything to get recognized for clout or anything. And that's just another example of, of uh, these things, man, that we just see people doing. And it's, it's, it's just, it's disgusting, man. It really is. It's really disgusting to see. So I don't know. But shout out to Joe, man, for not going and not participating in any of that. I don't, I wouldn't believe that he would do something like that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Joe usually Joe don't like to be a brown. He's 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 a he's an introvert. He's like one of them guys that he don't like to, he's one of the only niggas I know that went to the strip that goes to the strip club to play and play Monopoly at the strip club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But all right, man. You have yourself a good night. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to grab me something to eat. Make sure y'all make sure y'all go get y'all something real good to eat, man. I might order me some uh some Korean fried wings, some uh what's that? Hot and what is that? Sweet sweet hot. Sweet hot or garlic parm Korean fried chicken wings. They are excellent where I live at. So double fried. All right, so I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.